In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a cyberpunk lead synth sound. At the end, we'll have something that sounds like this. So if you want to follow along, this is the uh, pattern that I'm going to be using. Let's open Vital. To start with, let's choose basic shapes for oscillator 1, and I'm going to adjust the frame until we have a triangle wave. Let's hear what that's going to sound like. Okay, next let's go to oscillator 2, switch that on, once again choose basic shapes, and we're going to select a sawtooth wave. Let's hear it, let's have a listen. Okay, that's good. It's actually a surprisingly simple patch, that's pretty much what we need to do in the oscillators. Now we can just go on to the effects section and we'll add in some effects. I'll switch on the EQ, move that to the beginning of the chain, and then roll off the bottom end. That's pretty good. Switch on the compressor, multi-band. Let's have a play. Good. Now switch on the distortion. Let's go to linear fold and we're going to adjust this drive so that it's up pretty high. Not kind of here-ish. I'm just going to... You can hear how much that alters the sound and really grabs the sound that we're looking for there. So we go to the pre, filter, let's have a bit of a play with that. Great, let's drag the chorus down the chain, flick that on, change the number of voices to 8 and change them to one to one. And while you might not hear much in that at the moment, we're going to make an adjustment later where we can use the macro to alter the amount of chorus that we're listening to. Let's add in the phaser. And we're going to do a very similar thing with the phaser. So let's make a start. Let's go up to macro one. And let's rename it to Effects. And we're going to drag Macro 1 onto the Phaser Mix so that we can adjust the amount of mix that we want to have for our Phaser. If, my, if I could ever get my frickin' mouse to work on this, it's this screen. Surprisingly enough, it's just this one screen. If I have it on my other screen, it works fine. But on this screen, my mouse doesn't adjust these very well. So... Oh, in fact, it's annoying the crap out of me. I'm going to go into the matrix and do it there. <laughs> it 
which is also not super precise, but anyway, that's fine. Okay, that's our phaser done. Let's move on and adjust the amount of chorus that we have. So we'll grab macro one and we will attach it to the chorus mix. I'm going to reduce the amount. There we go. That is good. Okay, so next I want us to go back to voice and we're going to adjust the phasing in here on oscillator one. We're going to change that to sync and then I'm going to take macro two and I'm going to rename that to crush and we'll drag macro two onto the sync for that particular phase amount. And then we'll adjust that down to around about there. Okay, so let's see what we've got. And I'm gonna just mess around with the effects dial and the crush dial so that you can see what effect they have. <laughs> Alright, so you get a bit of an idea about that. You can use those macros while you're playing live, or you can record those, your adjustments to those macros while you're recording. And you can come up with some pretty impressive cyberpunky type lead sounds. So that's the end of that patch. Hope you enjoy it. Go away and have fun with it. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like this video if you did like this video, and if you didn't like this video, like the video anyway. Also, subscribe to my channel for more content like this. You can find my channel, it's Jason Brockett. You can find it down there, there, or there, one of those two places, down there. You'll find it. See you next time.